What's up, Poke fans? This is Hyper Paradox, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game. When we last left off, we were challenging Jonathan, and it was my Lapras versus his Licky Tongue. So in this episode, we're going to tr finish the duel with uh, Jonathan, and maybe even start taking on the Club Master as well. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to, uh, finish, keep on using Lapras. Alright, and unfortunately it did paralyze me. Might as well set this mysterious fossil in play. So all I have to do is take care of this licky tongue and I'll be good to go. Tell you what, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, uh, retreat Lapras for Articuno. And I'm actually going to use Freeze Dry to see if I paralyze it. Yes, I do! Excellent! So now I've basically won. Alright, let's finish off this Licky Tongue. And there we go! I take my last prize, and Jonathan has been defeated. Very nice. That was a great duel, I thought. Alright, oh, we got a Chansey for throwing one of those Colosseum Booster Packs. So without further ado, let's go take on the Fire Club Master. His name is Ken. Now, in order to duel Ken, you must have at least collected 300 cards. Not... And this is counting duplicates, by the way. In fact, it would be impossible to collect 300 different cards because... There are only 226. So without further ado, let's take on the Fire Club Master, Ken, and his Fire Charge deck. And cue epic music. Alright, let's see what we've got here. We only have Squirtle, but we do have a mysterious Fossil as well. Okay, so let's get this over with. Now, compared to the other club members, Ken actually uses a lot more colorless Pokémon than he does fire Pokémon. So you might want to consider using a fighting Pokémon deck to take him on. But he still has fire Pokémon like Growlithe, Arcanine, and Magmar. And good, I'm actually going to paralyze this Jigglypuff. Many of his Pokémon have attacks that damage themselves as well as the opponent. So he's got cards like Chansey, the base Arcanine, and also the promotional Jigglypuff. And I'm actually going to use take a chance and use Professor Oak here, after I attach a Water Energy to Squirtle, that is. So let's see what we've got. Alright. We actually get some pretty good cards here. Uh, both Articuno and Lapras. So while Squirtle is dealing with uh, Jigglypuff, I'm going to see if I can uh, get the uh, my other Pokémon prepped for battle. Okay, Horsey. Now... I'm actually going to use a uh, Pokeball to see if I can uh, get my War Turtle. Good. Okay. So, unfortunately, Magikarp is. I. All right. Good. There is a War Turtle. So I'm going to go ahead and evolve Squirtle into War Turtle, and then finish this Jigglypuff off.
And as I thought he would, he's going to put Chansey as his active Pokémon. The annoying thing about Chansey is that it has an attack called Scrunch, which prevents all damage and effects done to it for the next turn. And also, for four energies, it will use Double Edge, which does 80 damage to both the opponent and Chansey. Chansey is one of two Pokémon that have 120 HP, the other being Charizard. So it's a common card when used in stall decks. But fortunately, War Turtle can take it out in three hits. I... But before I do, I want to check to see what else Ken has on his bench. Okay, so he has another Chansey, a Growlithe, and a Magmar. But fortunately, none of them have any energies attached to them. So I'm going to put Poliwag on the bench, and I'm going to finish off, finish this Chansey off with Bite. All right, so let's take my second prize. Another Water Energy, good. And he's going to send in his other Chansey. So, right now, War Turtle is cleaning up nicely, but I'm going to keep attaching energies to Articuno just in case. The annoying thing about... The annoying thing about Chansey is that it does take a while to knock out, even with, a, some, even with strong attacks. Alright, so Articuno's all ready to go. He also has quite a bit of double colorless energies in his deck as well. I believe he actually does have four of them. Recycle, that basically means that you flip a coin, and if heads, you get to put a, tr a card from your discard pile on the top of the deck. At least I think it is. I, at least I think that's it. Uh, yeah, put a card on discard pile. I thought it was a trainer card, but never mind. Now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and keep on using Bite, because so far this duel is going pretty well. Yeah, I think he's got four... he's got another Chansey? Wow! Uh, oh, Poliwhirl! Excellent! So, I'm gonna also use Bill and see if we can get some more water energies. No such luck. I remember in one of my run-throughs of Ken, I kept getting water energies. I got, I think I drew maybe about six of them in a row. So really it all depends on the luck of the draw. So I'm gonna get Poliwhirl ready for battle. But wouldn't it be awesome if War Turtle were to sweep his entire team? All right. Oh, now here comes Scrunch. Yeah. This is what I was telling you about. He's going to use another Recycle, and fail. You fail, Ken! However, that one didn't fail. Hmm. And even retreating won't do you any good. You won't be able to negate Scrunch. Oh! I just thought of something. Well, actually on second thought, no. Because I was thinking of using that Pokémon Trader card to, uh... Somehow get Blastoise out. But if I were to do that... Ken would still have enough power to take it out with Double Edge. And I actually was not paying attention. Was Scrunch successful? No, it wasn't. Okay, that's good. But, and it failed again. Very nice. So, so far this duel is going pretty well. Wouldn't it be awesome if War Turtle were be able to sweep? But just in case he won't, I'm going to evolve Poliwhirl into Poliwrath. Poliwrath is another, Poliwrath is another very, very, very strong water Pokemon. And, oh, Defender. Really? You're that desperate. Oh well, I really can't blame you, I suppose. 
because let's be honest, Ken, you're going down in flames in every sense of the word. Okay, so he, so Chansey is going to continue to keep up its little uh, scrunch marathon here. So I'm just going to keep powering up my Pokémon. And I think I'm just going to put this uh, seal down just for kicks. You know what? Just because I feel like it, I'm going to try Withdraw. Ha! <laughs> did me absolutely no good whatsoever, but I just did it because I can. Alright, good. Now I can take his Chansey out. And evolve Mysterious Fossil into Omanite while I'm at it. Omanite actually, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Omanite is a Pokémon powered called Clairvoyance. And essentially what that means is, uh, you get to see your opponent's hand. Rather interesting, I might add. Although if it were me, I would have had that... That, uh, power applied to a Psychic Pokémon. Unfortunately, War Turtle will not be able to sweep anymore because that Magmar took him out. But fortunately... The Why did I just do that? Why the hell did I just do that? Oh well. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to retreat Seal and uh, put Polyrath in there. And finish you off with Water Gun. So there we go. That is all of them. And we have defeated Ken. Very nice. That was a great duel. Actually, it was a good duel, I thought. Here, let me give you this. We have our fifth Master Medal. The Fire Medal. Excellent! With this, you're a little closer to the legendary Pokémon cards. Here, take this too. I hope it will help you out. And we get two Mystery Booster Packs. Excellent! And we have an Alakazam. I don't think I actually have an Alakazam. And we have another Mystery Booster Pack with Kabutops in it. Let's play a Heated Duel again. See you later! Now, I'm already up to 12 and a half minutes, so, and I believe I have another battle coming up in the lobby, so I am actually going to stop the video right here.